one of the biggest and longest running free to play games out there and one of my most played games of all time, Warframe. Warframe has been going on for over 10 years now, and with cross save now available, you'll be able to play your account from any platform, even in the cloud on any tier of GeForce Now. So the question is, is GeForce Now worth it when it comes down to playing your favorite Warframe? Well Tenno, grab a blue potato to munch on because we're going to go over how Warframe plays on all GeForce Now tiers, starting with the free tier. Ornus has nothing on this. Operator, is that you? First things first, account linking and cross save is now available for all accounts on Warframe. What this means is that no matter what platform you play on, you can play your linked account on GeForce Now. This would mean that you can stream Warframe on almost any device without downloading it up to 240 FPS. Looking to play your Xbox, PlayStation, or even iOS account on your phone through the power of GeForce Now? You can totally do that. Don't have a console or PC, but you have a Samsung or LG TV that supports the GeForce Now app? This is your opportunity. If you're looking to link and cross-save all of your Warframe accounts, check out our setup video above. Now remember, GeForce Now runs the PC version of the game and select the Digital Extremes option to log in. You must set up cross-save for your other accounts if you mainly play on other platforms. Also, don't forget your PC account credentials you made so you can play on GeForce Now. Now for those new to GeForce Now and looking to see whether this way to play is right for you, the free tier is one of the best ways to try this. Recently, they just increased capacity for the free tier, so now is a great time to jump on. Granted, the free tier does have some caveats. Since GeForce Now has increased its user base by over 10 million in the past year, queue wait times have been pretty crazy. But lately, it hasn't been so bad. As I mentioned, NVIDIA has increased the free tier capacity over the past few months, so the wait time isn't as bad. NVIDIA has also introduced ads on the free tier as well. Some users will get up to 2 minutes of ads during your queue wait. Once you actually get in-game, the game will have to download and install the latest update. And yes, this might happen every time you log in. This will also happen with every tier, free or paid. Don't worry though, the download usually only takes about 5 minutes or less depending on the size of the update. Also, don't worry about trimming the hard drive space, that's just a waste of time. Now the biggest problem you'll have with the free tier though, will be the hour time session. No matter what game mode you play, make sure you manage your time right. This could happen to you at the end of your session before you realize it. I wouldn't recommend long defense or survival missions on the free tier. You know who you are. But how does the free tier perform? Now since the game is over 10 years old, the free tier has no problem keeping up with the game. Granted, they capped the FPS at 75, but since you can only stream at 60 FPS, that's not a problem. If you are testing to see how well GeForce Now runs Warframe, the free tier is a great way to test this, especially on a much older device you might be playing on. Just be prepared to wait in line before you play and only get an hour playtime. It is free though. So what are the benefits of getting a paid tier like the priority tier? With the priority tier, you still get a max resolution of 1080p with a max stream of 60fps. Plus, there are two configurations you'll get with the priority tier, the RTX 2080 and the 3060 configuration respectfully. Hit Ctrl N to see this network panel above. The priority tier easily runs Warframe on any configuration, way beyond the 60fps limit the priority tier allows. What I noticed though is that the 2080 tier has an FPS cap of 75. The 3060 tier does not. Granted, this is cool to see, but the priority tier only streams at 60 FPS anyway, so getting an FPS higher than this doesn't really matter. The priority tier does have some perks though. It doesn't have an hour time limit. It has a 6 hour session and the queue time is basically non-existent. Now because of this, this is also the best option for mobile users, since most phones only go up to 60 Hz to begin with. But Warframe already has a mobile app. Yes, yes they do, and we made a comparison video on the two if you're interested here. But overall, the frame rate and video quality outperforms the mobile app. So if visual quality is what you prefer, Warframe on GeForce Now is the way to go. Excellent work. Now what if you wanted to go beyond 60 FPS and beyond 1080p? Can you do it? This is what the Ultimate Tier is for. The Ultimate Tier is designed to stream the game up to 4K at 120 FPS. 1080p up to 240 FPS, and ultra wide monitors up to 120 FPS. Can the Ultimate Tier manage to do this for Warframe? Yes, it can. With flying colors, I might add. Warframe is one of those games where we can do everything the Ultimate Tier is made for. 
Go up to 4K resolution and stream 120 FPS? Check. Stream up to 240 FPS at 1080p? Check. Ultra widescreen support up to 120 FPS? Check. Tenno, if you have your accounts cross saved, you could be playing Warframe at one of the highest capacities possible instantly by just signing up for the ultimate tier. This is how I play Warframe on the regular. It's been my preferred way to play ever since. Now be aware that there is a minimum GPU requirement to handle streaming at this rate. Nvidia recommends a minimum of a GTX 10 series GPU or equivalent to handle decoding the stream. Make sure your device has a graphics processor equal or greater than this to get the best of what the ultimate tier can offer. Ultimate can also be played on the Shield TV Pro, qualifying mini PCs, and the Samsung Gaming Hum on select Samsung TVs. I will put the links to these devices and the GPU requirements in the description. And speaking of the Shield TV Pro, this device is good to go for playing the ultimate tier right out of the box. Just plug it in, set up your internet and controller, and you're set to play. Don't forget to make sure that you have decent internet. I would have a minimum download speed of 50 megabits per second for priority members and 100 megabits per second for the ultimate tier for maximum bitrate streams, especially if you live with others using the internet. As a Warframe player that has been playing for over 10 years now, please note that this is one of the best ways to play the game on almost any device, hands down. Looking to play the new update quickly? Just hop on GeForce Now. If you like this overview of Warframe on all tiers of GeForce Now, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.